Bitcoin has just confirmed the fake out of the symmetrical triangle. This has led to a major, massive move to the downsides. And this really changes everything for Bitcoin in 2024. And in this video, I want to be talking you through exactly what to be looking for next as I plan and prepare you during this moment of massive volatility, how we are going to turn this into a massive opportunity, opportunity for great profits on the chart. This is not a time to be scared or fearful. This is a time to remember your plan and absolutely profit from it. So it's going to be a good video. I'm going to give you my all. I'm going to be very honest and transparent with you from my trades outlook and exactly what I will be doing next. So it's going to be good. I'm looking, looking forward to it as always. Big smile and positivity for myself as I come onto the charts to help you succeed. So let's go into what we are looking at right here. Of course, yes, big fake out of the triangle. I'm going to spend a few minutes, first of all, talking you through the reasons why we saw this large move to the downside. OK, so of course, then I can educate you and you can use this insights and knowledge into the future when we get such moves again, again, again occur, because the market is always, you know, replicating itself in that way, as well as, you know, really understanding the context. You need to understand what happened on this drop, what we're bouncing from to, you know, take the next trade onwards into the future. So really what went on here? Of course, we've been looking at this triangle since the end of last year. And at the start of the year, we started to really look for the signs of a move to the top of the triangle. But I get, you know, as always with the triangles, I was making this very, very clear to you all. And I quote myself, <laughs> in fact, when I was drawing out the rise before the drop to really get that fake out of the triangle. This triangle fake out is going to liquidate millions of traders. Let me help you make profit. How do I do that? By it's really just reminding you of anything that this triangle fake out is absolutely real. As this guy says, I'm loving all the support, by the way. I've already received a lot of comments. That, that is always a joy to know people are listening and making some profits on it. Uh, but yeah, yesterday's video again, reminding you, yes, we have now seen that rise out of that triangle, but that is not just all fun bull games. No, you have to be rem remembering that this is real. The fake out dump is going to be occurring if we see that weakness. So then how did we recognize this weakness? How did I recognize this before the major drop to the downside actually calling that I have taken a short trade to the champions around 20 minutes before we saw a drop of 10% to the downside. You're going to learn a lot from this if you listen carefully. So really simply, we got the first initial move to the upside. We hit the daily naked point of control. Really didn't class this as a major resistance, but it is a level nevertheless. And as a level to level trader, we've got to be aware of the reasons why we're currently pulling back. But at the time, you know, I really had no bearish outlook on this and really would have liked to have seen higher targets to be hit. OK, so fast forwards 24 hours. Will we get more new data? We started to get this initial range forming from that daily naked point of control to a bit of a range low. So 24 hours passed, almost like we got a nice sideways range. What goes on next? Why did I take a short before this major drop? Well, it was after seeing a swing failure pattern of the value area high, taking out these two prior highs. So we got an SFP, but the main reason was this, coming back down below the value area low. This for me combines with the bearish order flow that we were seeing. If you look at the divergences, we were seeing some bearish order flow coming in, very important to pay attention to. So with the order flow combined with the SFP here and the loss of value area low, that was the reason why I decided to take a short trade. Why? Because that is weakness. And although I may want or like to see higher, I'm going to trade the charts. I'm going to trade the evidence and data that I have in front of me. That is some bearish order flow confirmed. That is a SFB locally rejection off the value area high with now acceptance below the value area low. That is enough weakness for me to take a short trade. And you can check the timestamps confirmed to my team that I've taken the short. And 20 minutes later, we see a drop of 10% percent to the downside that is a massive drop and as i thought millions got liquidated 
Millions of traders got liquidated because of the fake out. Why? Because they were not prepared for that. They were not planned. They were not aware. And they are FOMOing bullish longs at the highs. Okay. So, of course, how do we then move on to the next step of recognizing that fake out, then executing the short trade? For me, it was simple. Once I saw that weakness, it's time to take the short. Then we start to, you know, as time's going on, we're seeing more and more and more weakness, right? Then we get a confirmed market structure change. We'd lost the value area low here. Here we're now trading below the range. So this is now market structure changing as well. Okay. And this is really big new bearish data. This is clear weakness. You got to react, change bias if necessary and go bearish because everything now is pointing for a bigger drop to the downside. So we can see here very weak. Now we got back into the triangle that now confirms the fake out of the triangle, much more bearish now, just trading the stop loss on the short trade that I've taken. And we can see here, then at that at that point, a 6.5% drop after the loss of the value area low. Very quick drop where I say that if you hesitated at all or fall in love with a bullish bias, you will have missed the whole move, to be honest. And you can see the importance of updating biases with new information and data that comes in on the charts. You know, I'm very transparent. When we first hit this top of the um, daily naked point of control, for me, was not uh, there was no bearish signs. We didn't have bearish order flow. OK, we didn't have any loss of significant support. But, you know, you fast forward 24 hours, we then got the bearish order flow. We've then seen some loss of levels, which is equaling weakness. That is why that is why I took the short trade. So you can see the importance of really trading with new information and data that comes into the charts. And here we can see what a short it really turned out to be. We lost the value area high. Uh, with the, um, well, we rejected value area high with the SFB, lost the value area low, <laughs> changed market structure bearishly, acceptance back into the triangle, massive drop occurred. And you can see from the daily live stream that I was doing to the champions yesterday, we were ready and prepared for this fake out scenario. Okay. And so the plan that we were ready for is, you know, really comes to fruition. And as I told my team, when we hit this value area high, point of control. I'm not expecting it to hold as any major support and actually looking for a quick bigger move to the downside because really simply the rise was so quick, the fall back down will be just as quick. So price up very quickly. The back tests, of course, potentially offered a bullish play, but my thoughts really were if we come back here, it will lead to a more bearish scenario because we rose so quick. We we're looking for the quick drop to get well, really simply fake out the top of the triangle. <laughs> Let's go down and take the triangle low. And you know what happened next? We come down and took the triangle low. So really simply, you know, that is the plan that I had. That is how it played it out, played out. You see myself and other champions taking these short trades and really make, well, look at this guy. He's making some really nice profits uh, from that call. Thanks for the heads up. And like I say, prepared for the triangle fake out. We saw the weakness locally. And that is what led me to take a short trade. And then later on, we get a massive drop to the downside. Myself and the champions could profit on this drop simply because we were fully prepared and planned for that scenario. OK, so I, I hope with that, I was able to give you the context of why we saw such a big drop, how I did recognize that drop and call it to my team 20 minutes before a massive dump. And, you know, you understand that fully, the reasons why. And we can now start to look at what is happening next. OK, so I know a lot of people are going to be wondering, OK, now we've seen this big move down. We have fake out the now low. OK, hit some lower liquidity. Is it time to long yet? Do you want to be taking a long right now and looking for a full blown reversal or you know, I, I wouldn't really do this, but take a short right now. So I'll be explaining exactly what I'm looking for next. And I hope you can use this information well. Uh, really simply, one thing that I want to do before that is uh, refer to this question. Uh, obviously, for the past few days, I have given you some very nice calls, let's be honest, reminding you uh, even before while in that triangle of this fake out rise and drop. And the next day, reminding you all still of the fake out. I had a question from somebody saying, why are people paying for Champions membership if I'm sharing the same analysis for free? Very 
good question, I suppose, because I am giving some nice information here on YouTube. But I just wanted to remind you all, really, that, you know, there is so much more that is on the platform of Chart Champions, right? It's not just, you know, daily live streams, but we have absolutely the daily live streams, very precise, okay, accurate, and, you know, just clear. We got the whole educational library. So you come over here and you look at the courses. In here, you have the whole educational library. So the theories that we're using to make profits, you know the exact way that we're doing it because you learn our exact methods that we use every day. We got the daily live streams and live trading streams. So you come over here and look in the video library. Every single day you're getting updates. You got the live trading streams, okay? You've also then got on top of this a community of other traders in the Discord. But the main focus of that community would be really simply that you have access to trading assistant to answer all of your questions. So, of course, with myself, Eagle, Rivalry and Severin, any question that we get about our charts is answered. You can see here we are answering every single question that we come in and get about our charts that we post here. But also you've got trading assistant who is taking a whole massive form of questions every single trading question that you could have you come in here ask a question and then trading assistant will give you a look at this very in-depth just very very answering your question it's as simple as that 24 just just amazing work on trading assistant this is a ma massive help this is for contenders and champions right on top of that, you get access to the journal, you get access to the templates, you get access to the altcoin streams and much, much more. This is a whole platform where you can come in, compete, journal, use the deals, use the vault, just everything that you need to become a successful trader. So, you know, I'm happy to help here on YouTube. Of course, it's not going to be daily videos, but once or, or twice a week doing a YouTube video, which can help out. But the platform, yes, it is. It's a whole different ball game that it's not comparable really what you'll get as as a champion member or a contender member for all of the educational and um, you know walk through packages that, that we do here so just wanted to refer to that and then very simply the the question here that has the modules become more structured in um, you know with 2023 2024 because in 21 22 it was primarily live streams 1.5 hours long no career directional focus and you know we listened to feedback we improved and we made so much positive changes and so now every monday we re we release pre-recorded lessons that are 20 to 25 minutes long and then on Wednesday we host a separate stream covering a question and answer for that lesson released. For the older lessons we have really speed run versions that are shorter and to the point so those old 1.5 hour long videos are condensed into the speed run five you know 15 minute long video giving you all of that information so yeah we've made a lot of changes and uh, really improved a lot since 2021, 2022. <laughs> Simple as that. Um, so yeah, with that all said, I want to move back onto the charts and explain what I'm looking for next. So, you know, would I take a short right now? The answer here is no. Why? Because, well, we've just seen, basically we've just seen a massive 10% move to the downside. You know, it's not really a time to be taking a short here because, well, really simply the invalidation is too big now. You've, you've essentially missed the trade. That's like I sold to my team, right? If you if you do hesitate, then you, you will have missed the trade. I, I remember writing that to my team anyway. So yeah, if you, if you hesitate, you miss. And so I do feel you've missed that short. You'd have to wait for a lower term time frame setup. I wouldn't just jump into a short hit. But also, to be honest, I wouldn't jump into a long. Why? Because the same situation. Let's say we're taking a short here. Your stop loss is what? 10% to the upside, where well, if you're taking a long here, your stop loss is 5% to the downside. This is too big. So I would be now waiting patiently for a rise for a better risk to reward short or a long with a drop to the downside, preferably, right, filling this wick. So that would mean retracing the whole of that wick where we could look for an SFP of this low or move down to our biggest support levels. But I you know, would exercise patience here, right? There's a lot of patience when it comes to trading. When you're making your plans, when you're aware of what's going to be coming, you then have to be patient to execute. I was aware of the fake out, but it took almost 24 hours before I took my short because I wanted to remain patient to see the weakness on the chart, okay? So it wasn't instantly, but I was waiting for the weakness. And that is when 
I took my short trades. So the same now, I wouldn't rush into a long here. I would wait for either some strength or another drop to the downside, which gives me a much clearer entry trigger. Okay, much clearer entry trigger. Do you not think you have a nice entry trigger here? Of course, we could just reverse blast straight back up. And hey, you know, then you just didn't take the long here. But you, what I want to remind you all is... I really hope if you're a member of Chart Champion or watching these videos, you understand we are here for the long term. Okay, we are not here for a bull market and then disappear. You know, we've been here every cycle, every bull market and every bear cycle. You know, I've been here over a decade through every cycle that comes. So you can, you know, I'm, I'm living proof that Chart Champions is here for the long term. And I hope you have that mindset too. This is, we treat it as our trading as a business, right? This is something, a journey, a career. So with that, we are not having to get capture every single move. There are trades that we will miss. There are trades that we will get wrong. But we know we're after the long-term gain and profits here. So if we are to just full-blown reverse from here, straight back up, hey, I missed that long trade. It's not a problem for myself. I can just look for a new setup that occurs tomorrow on some form of a retracement, right? So, yeah, right now I would remain patient. I would rem remain patient for a drop to the downside at the very least type of scenario coming down to a CC, right? So at the very least I would wait for. But I'm not going to be long in here with a 5% stop loss. Just, just not going to happen. So I'd either wait for that retest SFP or lower targets to be hit uh, before I even think about taking a long. And if we just fly up here without me, hey, <laughs> it's really not a problem. Um, and then, yeah, in terms of the shorts, again, short, massive stop loss, 10% stop loss on the short, just, just not going to be happening for myself to short down here. I would wait for a rise. Of course, still major targets around 47, 48,000. Still would love that to be hit. But I always want to say that what I would love and what I'd like does not mean what I'm trading. I will trade the charts and the data and information that I have in front of myself. That is how I recognize weakness. That is how I make profits on these charts. And that is what you need to replicate. If there's one thing you want to replicate from myself to be successful and profitable, it is replicating how I trade the charts. I can have my biases, I can have my wants, but I will always trade when I see the signs on the charts. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I hope you have been, you know, really you are able to be uh, profiting on this move to the downside. You cannot say I didn't warn you for what was to come. OK, if you want that more real time updates, like I said, I did tell the whole of the team of the champion members I have taken that short trade 20 minutes later we got a 10% drop to the downside so that warning was there if you want that you know where to get it chartchampions.com okay and it's nice to see people making some very nice profits off of that so it uh, makes me happy if you want to see the improvements and everything that we got you can get it all over at chartchampions.com I'm going to wrap it there I'm going to say thank you ever so much as always it's been an absolute pleasure of mine and I really wish you the very best in 2024. Right now on the charts exercising a bit of patience and my next update will be only to the champions or the discord. So yeah cheers everybody and I've got a, of course a daily live stream tomorrow so if you want a video from me tomorrow daily live stream for the champions too. <laughs> Thank you everybody cheers and that is me signing out. Thank you and goodbye.